I'm here with David, a Vegas promoter, to talk about how to become a promoter, the advantages of being a promoter, and what you do as a promoter in one of the biggest bustling cities in the world, Vegas. So a lot of people don't really understand what a promoter is. Would you be able to just go through really quickly about what is a promoter and like maybe about how you got into it a little bit? So these nightclubs are massive. They need people to go inside the club. And it's our job as promoters to recruit people, to sell people on the venue, to get them into the club. Because a, a nightclub success relies on people getting there and especially getting there early. And that's where promoters, they have special promotions as in free entry, different drink specials, different drink promotions to get people in there early. And we, they sign up, they make a reservation through me on my guest list and I get a commission for the people that use my reservation under my guest list. So uh, how do you get people on your guest list? Like what do you do? Like do people come hit you up or how is it? There's definitely many different strategies to it. In Las Vegas, the strip is a huge lead generator. So I'm usually out there on the strip with my uniform on, talking to people, soliciting, like inviting them to the party. Hey, we have chain smokers tonight. Hey, we have marshmallow tonight. And tell them it's gonna be the best place I have an Instagram page for my promoting site and a lot of word, word of mouth referrals as well to people, previous guests that came to the venues and they have other guests coming to Vegas and that's how I get them. So through on the strip, through the internet and word of mouth referrals. Mostly you're just out on the strip like hustling every day, getting new people in there. Does that sound about right? Yeah, exactly. I'm out there inviting people out. It's a, a lot of networking, a lot of meeting people. And even if they don't come that night, maybe in the future they come where right? and they know a friend that's coming to Vegas too that wants to go out. We usually have drink promotions, open bar, champagne, drink tickets that will help incentivize people to go there when there's a smaller DJ. So at these clubs, there's exclusive table areas where, because usually at these nightclubs, they're not really a place to sit. You don't have your own place. You have to move around a lot and yes. a lot of times security they tells you oh, you gotta move over there you gotta move over there if you want to get a drink at the bar usually there's a line and some people don't want to deal with all that they don't want to deal with the line usually they don't want to deal with the long line to get in they don't want to deal with people interrupting you like people just guys talking to their girls or something and for that and if you have a special occasion that's would be when you want to have a, make a table reservation so it all depends on your budget, and usually prices vary, so they will contact a promoter to see the quote of the night, and I'll be able to assist you by giving you the prices depending on the budget and depending on the amount of people you have. Mm -hmm. And like usually, like, uh, like you have a minimum amount you need to spend, and different bottles cost different amounts, um, but it's a great way to be separated from a lot of the other group and have like your own spot where you can just sit, chill, relax. Now, how did you get into promoting and how do you become a promoter? So I wanted a job where, where I work for it, I can make more money and I didn't want to be behind the office all day. So that's how I got into promoting. And I contacted a previous promoter that used to work for the company and that's how I got the job. Usually, you can easily network your way to, to become a promoter job. Okay, did you just send them like a message like, hey man, I'm interested in becoming a promoter, um, like an interview, like what was the, what was the, kind of the process here? Yeah, I asked my buddy, hey, I'm interested in a promoting job, and it was like, sure, let me text my, uh, my manager and see what he says, ask if he's hiring, and it was a busy season, so they were hiring, and that's how I just got the job. So for somebody else looking to become a promoter, is that a really tough process, or is it like a really easy process to like reach out, like, um... Like what's the what's the attitude like when you're coming to it? Is it like a very open, friendly environment? Um, and why did you pick like the club that you picked too? The barriers to entry isn't that high to get become a promoter. Usually, it's easy to get the job into. It's not like you're in university and you have to you have to go to three rounds of interviews to get to get the job. You have to go to networking events here because the base pay is lower. The, you make your money through your commission, through your uh, guest list. And once that's how you make your money here. And then to be honest, not a lot of people make the cut to become, to get that off. But I chose 
the company I worked for because I liked that was my favorite place. I liked how I liked how the wind. They have like, my favorite DJs, Marshmallow, Chain Smokers, Diplo. I like how it's very aesthetic. It's, it has a nice atmosphere in it, and that's Super classy. Uh, yeah, it's classy upscale. It's not like you're a college all you can drink ten dollar bar where the floor is sticky and all that. True. And it, yes, so it has a nice of atmosphere. They make the col lights colorful. They make it welcoming. And I enjoyed being there, so that's why I decided to work there. Yeah, that's super dope. Um, like, would you have any tips for people that are looking to become promoters, uh, maybe in other cities, like um, maybe about how you get sales leads and anything about the day to day of the job? Yeah, I, I, I got a lot of advice from promoters that worked there before, older, more senior promoters. So that's why I recommend asking for advice for the promoters that are more senior for any tips on what you can do to get people how to stay organized, get leads, and be a good host once they come. What specific things are you doing that uh, make you a more effective promoter than a lot of other maybe promoters that are out there? For example, like you put out a lot of helpful content on Instagram, you have a new website out, um, and like you're very very helpful about like making sure people have a solid experience from the beginning yeah. when you meet them to all the way till like when they're when they're gone or out of Vegas. Yeah, one thing I do is that I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people do. I, I follow up. I make sure once I add it on the guest list, I invite them before a couple hours before the event. Like, hey, reminding you, hey, nice to meet you on the trip today. We have our event. It opens at 10:30 tonight. And I make sure that you, you know, so I'm on top of the text hustling, messages, hustling, yeah. yeah. And then once I get there, a lot, of, not a lot of promoters, they, a lot of other promoters, they just get people to go, sign up and get on their guest list and just let them be on their own. But I try to be accommodating. I try to greet them once they're in and make sure that they're having a good time. And I like to take pictures with my guests so people know that I'm actually out with them and then I have a lot of happy guests so they, they know what's going on. Yeah, and do you find that like a lot of the Instagram content helps you generate uh, more people that want to come out because they see you doing yeah. cool things, they see you uh, having fun with a lot of your guests? Um, does that help you a lot with a lot of the marketing as well? Yes, definitely. Because other other promoters they just they just post flyers of the event, and I try to post p me with my guests to so see oh this promoter actually goes out, this promoter actually takes care take cares of his guests. So that's how I try to differentiate myself from other promoters. Yeah, and I think you're doing a, a solid job of that. Like, it, it definitely is a lot more engaging. Like, f promoters are a little like spam, like three flyers, and I'm like, okay, you'll get more reach, but you won't get a lot of engaged content. Um, so, like, it's a solid mix to like put out helpful content, but also show that you're engaged in the process as a promoter. Mm -hmm. Like, you're out there having fun with people, not just like like being like, hey, come here come here, I need money, like yeah. you're providing a solid experience for somebody, especially when they spend a lot of money to come to Vegas. What are the advantages of becoming a promoter? So what benefits do you get as well, not just like monetary benefits, but what other things are cool for you? Like you were going out every night and stuff like that. So like what was the difference between when you were going out every night, not as a promoter, and then when you started becoming a promoter? You definitely, you're definitely more connected when, when you work as a promoter at the club. Like people, people know you, so once you go in there, people greet you, hey, David, welcome back. So it's good that you get there. And then as a promoter, they give us a table every night. And with that table, we can host our uh, VIP guests that we have. So that's definitely something I didn't have. So just having a table, being more connected was the difference. Yeah, now like you have table service for free instead of spending like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. That's a pretty big advantage yeah. if you're going out every night and like now you have like a cool spot to chill and you don't have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Then the last thing is like, how would we get in contact with you if we're traveling to Vegas and we're from a different city and we don't know anything about Vegas? How do we get in contact with you? You can definitely check out my Instagram. It's, it's my last name: A N U S O N T A R A N G K U L. And then there I post pictures of the different clubs I work at. Or you can text me at 305-613-4423. And I'm happy to help. Okay, awesome, David. Uh, glad to see you out here on the streets. And uh, finally, like, you're off the streets and just chilling and relaxing. Um, and thank you very much. Thank you.